so sad in this day and time how um hold on how things can have you like in fear you know what i mean i just loaded a video talking about <laughs> talking about um meat from Aldi and i'm getting ready to put the second load in and wash my shower curtain and how <laughs> you just have to be careful right and so here I am about to make some, um, I still haven't did the twice as nice and y'all heard me say that, but I'm about to make some, um, uh, oh, about to make some pancakes and some turkey bacon. It's a turkey bacon that I never tried before, um, with Audis. And this is vinegar and that was baking soda. This is my um, Molly Suds um, washing soap. I only put a little bit because I'm just washing. I hand wash it first because it's white. And then I um, wash it regular. So hold on one second. My, I don't know what's going on with my um, music. But anyway, we're going to do a speed wash on this. Yeah, so, oh, hold on, this music. Yeah, so, I went to get this because I wanted to, I've def definitely been getting away from the beef, the pork bacon. And so I got this, I'm like, oh. But they did say that it has been, it's being done with chicken and pork. Um, I guess not turkey so much, so, I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird thing to have to live a life of, not knowing, you know, what's going on and why they're doing certain things and having to watch your food and your stuff so, so closely, I think it's, it's sad. It's really sad because, um, why should we have to live like that? Why can't we just have regular food, eat regular food, and if the abundance of it is not enough, then... We just have scarce food, you know what I mean? And like meat and stuff. Like why do you have to create some meat? Yeah, I've been wanting, um, I've been wanting, um, blueberry. I don't know, and I haven't, I wasn't a blueberry girl growing up. I really wasn't. And it's just so crazy that I've been literally wanting like blueberry. I put some avocado oil in here. Cause you know, turkey bacon really doesn't make oil. And I'm making us some pancakes. Uh, and some bacon. This is my first time trying this bacon. Hopefully it's good. It got me nervous. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't understand it, y'all. I don't understand it. So I'm gonna put some avocado oil in my cast iron for my pancakes as well. And I'm just gonna put some of my homemade vanilla in my pancake um, mix with some cinnamon. No, no cinnamon, because I'm gonna do blueberries. So I'm just gonna, oh Lord, I don't wanna waste that good vanilla. Jesus, I'm just being, this, that was real sloppy girl. What you got going on? Hold on. That was real sloppy, Millie Mio. Put that down. And yeah, I'm gonna do some blueberry syrup. I made it and it was so good. I don't know why I've been wanting blueberry, so I made it. I bought some a bag of frozen um, blueberries from Aldi, and oh my gosh, it came out so amazing, so amazing. Hold on. Ooh, Jesus! I had this too close to that pot. I'm getting some water. My almonds are soaking. I forgot to make. I mean, soaked some almonds the day before yesterday, so we out of milk, so I'm using filter water from the refrigerator to make my pancakes. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I like, do you like big pancakes? Do you like small pancakes? Or do you like, um, like really little, like fluffy pancakes? Or talk to me in the comments. I am a, I don't mind small or big, but I gotta have the crispy edges, like that's a no, 
that's not up for discussion. <laughs> I have to have the cookie edges on my pancakes. So I have the avocado oil in here. Um, I used to do butter, but butter is more, well, I use plant-based butter, so yeah. Whatever I can manage to switch things up with, I definitely will. I'll try to keep those back, because my arms will grab something in a minute. And if it does, that means it's not ready to pull from the pan. If you didn't know that when cooking with, um, uh, a lot of people don't like stainless steel and, uh, what do you call it? And cast iron because they say they're food stick. Well, I've said this in several videos of my cast iron cooking and stainless steel. That means it's not ready to release from the pan. So if it's not moving, that means it's not ready to release, okay? I want this to be nice and hot so these can cook. If you want your pancakes a little crispier, don't make them as thick. Don't make your mix as thick. After I'm done with this, I gotta fold some items. So I'm gonna get two that size and then I'm gonna make her four small ones. She likes smaller pancakes. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I don't really like my turkey bacon crunchy. I used to like my pork bacon crunchy, but I don't really like my turkey bacon crunchy. Do you like your turkey bacon, bacon crunchy, or do you like it um, just like cooking, like in between? A little bit of crunch, but also. Um, A little tender a little tender if you don't know and you have not made pancakes or don't know about making pancakes the bubbles signifies it's being cooked thoroughly in the middle if you don't see bubbles it's not time to flip it yeah you want the bubbles um, you want them to like really be all around even more than that I mean you can flip it now but I like mine kind of dark I don't like light pancakes I'm gonna cut that down low since I still have these to do. And I'm gonna leave them in there because it's turkey bacon and avocado oil. So it's not like it's a real fattening oil that it's sitting in. Um, but see, just slid right into there. That's because I use this a lot and it is seasoned really well. Um, but since I moved it, you notice the bubbles kind of flattened. So I'm gonna let it sit and as soon as it starts bubbling again, I'm going to flip it and do my next pancake. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put this inside one of my Ziploc bags that I so love. These bags are so, so, so worth it. And I told you guys about these when they went on sale. I just cleaned out my freezer, so I got a lot of them that I was able to clean out and uh, reuse. So, yep, it keeps your food and your produce so amazing. So now I'm about to flip this bad boy like so. That's how I like my pancakes. You don't want to press it down right away because if so, the, the dough is going to ooze out. You want to give it a couple seconds and then press down on it. See? And it has the crispy edges and all that good stuff. That's what you want. Let me show it to you. Up close. Look at those edges, y'all. Look at those edges. Hmm. Those edges gotta be crispy for me, gotta be crispy for me. Okay. That's not too loud. And this bacon is done, so I'm gonna set it back there. That's that. I don't need this. Well, I'll use this to pull it out of there. And so, other side not quite done. Let me get our plate. tablespoon that should be for you to cook both sides of it 
these are videos that are natural for me. This is what I do. I'm usually, I work from home, so I'm usually in comfy clothes if I'm not going out to shop or something like that. Um, and this is just comfortable for me. And I can also talk to you guys, let you know, let you in on my world, what's going on and everything. I am um, currently still doing projects around the house in different spaces. Every day I try to give myself a task to do and I have been doing that. Um, and I've been loving giving myself grace and time to get things done. It's not a race. And at one point, my mindset was, oh, I got to get this done. Got to get this done. This has to be done at this time. This has, But it doesn't. This is my home. There's no race. And there's no, there's no type of competition or anything like that. It's a rainy day. That's why I don't have my windows open. But I love this peaceful, soft, serene morning. Um, getting things done, doing laundry and all that good stuff. Uh, this is what I love. See the bubbles? So I'm going to take it and we're going to cook it. We don't want to press it yet. So yeah, I definitely um, enjoy being a homemaker. I enjoy being a mom. I enjoy just enjoying my space. I enjoy enjoying my space. I am creating a space that I can vacation and still like be anxious to get home, be anxious to get back to my space. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am the single mom versus the fixer. I was married for 18 years and I started all over in my 40s. Um, my youngest is 15 and uh, we've been riding it out and um, I've been living in this home as it was renovated. So the first, when I first purchased it, I had about a month and a half that I was in a hotel um, before I could move in because every floor had to be ripped out, all the ceilings were ripped out. And as I went through the process, every wall had to be removed as well. So it was it was a lot, it was a lot. Um, a, lot of, a lot of tears, a lot of just overwhelming feelings and emotions of what have I done, what have I done. So if you're new to the channel, go check it out. Go look back, go back, 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 back. I have over 2,000 videos. So you could binge watch, I am an encourager, a inspirer i love to help people transform mentally emotionally financially physically all of the above and so i like to share those things i'm always recording i'm always um you know creating content but it'd be so hard to get it all out it really does so long story short um yeah check me out check out the channel share the channel it's a lot of stuff that is always going to be relevant i'm not a trendy person i like to share things that i know that'll be um something that someone can always come back to and always use when i get the comments and the videos from people um you know like oh my gosh thank you so much for this and this videos i did six years ago five years ago eight nine years ago you know um that makes me feel some type of way it really does it really does so and I do try my best to respond I definitely do not respond to anything negative when somebody posts something negative I remove it I do I mean you have a opinion and you can say certain stuff but you know how some people are just rude with it it's a difference it's, it's rude negativity but then there's negativity but then there's like okay then they don't kind of get it but it's like they're really asking a question but not trying to be rude. You got to decipher that. But when you just come, oh, this is absolutely stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. Something like that, you're being removed. I don't, we don't, we don't do that over here. We don't do that over here. Um, so, yeah, it's all positivity. I am a mom of three. Three, three children. They're grown now, except for the baby. Um... And yeah, I, I'm just trying to create the best life uh, that I can within my lane, within my means, within my, um, you know, my everything that's according to me. Everything that's according to me. Could y'all see what I'm doing? That's according to me and what works for my family. That's, that's what's important. If you ever get a mistake like that, leave it. Because if you try to break them apart, when it does that, it, it'll ruin the pancake. So leave it, let it sit for just a little bit, and then come back and um, and kind of do a cut, cut, and move it. So yeah, that's it. Just wanted to uh, pop in. Um, after I eat breakfast, I'm going to show you my breakfast real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys. Um, we just gonna I'm going to fold clothes and chat with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed these kind of videos. 
this is me. This is what I love, but as I'm also sharing, I'm sharing things that can help you, that can show you. Um, the toxic Teflon non-stick, if you didn't know, read up on them. And aluminum, I don't use aluminum. If I use aluminum, it's to cover something that's cold that needs to go in the refrigerator. Um, you know, as a, a wow, I hate saying that, but as a melanated woman, we were raised up. Everything was aluminum. You cook uh, the cookout food in aluminum pans. You cook in aluminum pans. Not cooking in aluminum pans. I know like when you have cookouts and stuff like that. It's aluminum pan this, aluminum pan that. And we were raised, um, you know, utilizing those things and not realizing how toxic it was to us and to our health. And when I found out about Teflon nonstick, because I was, I love Circulon. That was my favorite, favorite um, cookware. And when I found out how bad the actual um, Teflon was and the nonstick and the copper and all that stuff that they promote and sell, it made me think, I said, you know what? A lot of high-end chefs and chefs that, that are like really good at what they do, they, um, I only seen them using stainless steel and, 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 and cast iron. So that right there alone must be an indication that we're on to something with this, um, understanding of the fact that this is not good. You know, people are cooking in the aluminum foil and heating it up and all that. And it is leaching so many cancerous toxins in our food. And we have no clue. We have no clue how bad it is. We have no clue at all. And it's so sad. If you didn't know, I have a video. I make my own maple syrup. She wants that, but I know I want blueberry syrup and I want some whipped cream on mine. Yes, that's what's happening with, with my food. Hold on. I heated up some of my blueberry syrup. I do not like putting cold syrup on my pancakes. So nasty. So nasty. All right, so we have to have the plant-based butter, have to. And let me show you what that is. Um, I'm gonna clean, I hate when my butter dish get like that, <laughs> but this is the butter I'm using and I so love it. If you wanna transition and find some good butter, definitely try this. It is so good, it comes in olive and it also comes in, um, I think just olive and avocado. Yeah, olive and avocado, oh, these so hot olive and avocado and I love 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 it don't feel as bad <laughs> when I'm slathering it um yeah I'm gonna are you anal about your butter dish it seemed like my baby girl she just does not cut the butter right it always gets all over but anywho um it is what it is that's what children do I'm gonna clean it out and put some new sticks because I just bought some brand new butter and we're gonna put my stuff on here and she's coming to get her food so, look at this. This is real blueberries. Like, ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put it all on top because it's gonna be for both. For both. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I promise you, I did not. When I say did not, and it's not really sweet, I didn't use a lot of the organic sugar. I, um,. Like mine's a, with a little tart, so yeah, it's a little tart at the same time. But listen, I had the French toast made with the French bread yesterday, so freaking amazing! So freaking amazing! So amazing! All right, guys, hold on. So the sun seems to have wanted to come out. Um, I can see it shining through the blinds. Something about this blueberry. Oh my gosh, y'all. And it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not real sweet. Definitely less sweet than my um, maple. My egg maple um, syrup. 
So I'm finna enjoy this. Got my water here on deck, ice water. And I'll be back when I go. <clears throat> All right, y'all, let's get this kitchen clean. We are done eating breakfast. That was so good, y'all, so good. So, so good. Uh, I'm gonna hang that shower curtain up, do my laundry. Just wanna drop to take y'all with me, talk to y'all, show y'all how like um, a Sunday morning is the, the Sunday is the actual day that I um I'm loving this Maya soap. I haven't shared it with y'all, but usually I like to share it after I've used something for a while. Um, but I think I already told y'all how it soaked up or whatever. <clears throat> That's a thing about when you're doing a lot of videos, trying to remember what you shared as far as like the order, and then when you talk about something, like, oh, I didn't even share that yet. I forgot to load that video to y'all or whatever. So, yeah, it's all good. I'll probably share that tomorrow. That soap video. I gotta probably put a caption on it. I mean, a um, thumbnail. Make a thumbnail. I don't like um, making water. I'm not a water making girl. I feel like it's a waste too. Um, when you do it that way. Especially because I wash fast. I try not to be just letting it just run. I'm trying to keep something in it. I remember back in the day, uh, it was a couple of y'all like, don't let that water run, girl. <laughs> I used to let the water just run. Oh, I, 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 I didn't share these. Oh, y'all don't see these little stoppers. I didn't share those yet. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with them. They're so sturdy, so stable, real stainless steel. Um, and I love them. They catch majority of the things that don't need to go down your sink. And they're not, not like the mesh, nasty looking ones that get stuff all clogged in them and you can't clean them. It's just a lot. So, yeah. I like to just squirt my soap in like that and clean like this. That's how I like to clean my Oh, this lemon verbena. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. I'm going to try to put that other video up first before I put this one up. Telling y'all about it because I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And... It smells so good. And it soaks up so good. I don't see spots on my dishes and all that crazy stuff. So, yeah. Now, with the cast iron, that thing's still hot. <laughs> all right. Ooh. I already cut my nails short. And I don't know, some reason, my thumbnails, I don't know if it's damaged from years ago. Because I haven't worn acrylics or fake nails in a long time. But my thumbnails always are sensitive and they'll always crack on the side. Do you have that issue with your thumbnails cracking on the side? It's so irritating. It's so irritating. Ugh. My stainless steel scrubber. It gets the job done. You see how fast those spots went away? Like, no joke. No joke. Come in with this. spaghetti tonight so that's what we're having for dinner i don't know if i'm gonna make this a long all day vlog or just for the 
morning, afternoon, because it is late. We don't eat breakfast till like 12 something, so it's really not morning, morning. But, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna make some more of that. <laughs> My daughter loves the syrup. So I gotta make some more of that. That will probably be tomorrow. Today our pasta meal, like I told you, was spaghetti. So that's what we're having. And usually we have leftovers after our pasta meal. All right, I'm gonna go edit this video. Cause it's a lot of footage. So I ended up taking my shower curtain out. I love a nice clean shower curtain. And I clean this every week and so I'm going to hang it back up because it is cleaning day for it and I have a way of keeping it very clean um, most people can't keep bright white pure white <laughs> clean because of the dirt and the different things that get on the bottom of it especially if you have a big family or you shower a lot multiple times a day I um, make sure I keep this clean to keep it nice and white. And this was actually a free item. And the reason it was free is because I used my Fetch Reward gift card from TJ Maxx and I purchased this. I think this was like nine bucks, no more than like nine bucks, but it has been washing weekly. I've had it for several months now and I haven't had any problems, which is something that is temporary until I get my glass door frame installed over the shower and finish tiling the ceiling of the shower as you can see you see the green water barrier paint but still has to be tiled up there so enjoy the rest of the video later y'all all right my gators let's get into folding these clothes i am so in love when i say so in love, love with this basket right here i have a separate video talking about the age showing you guys what they look like and um the price and all that good stuff they save so much space so stay tuned for that in the future Do you enjoy laundry? Do you not enjoy laundry? Do you do laundry, get it in a washing machine, put it in a basket and it sits and you just kind of use it from out of the basket? Or are you one that lets everything pile up until you have nothing else to wear and then you wash your clothes? Tell me what type of laundry person you are in the comments. I don't mind washing weekly and I try to do everything um, every week and every other week I'll do our like comforters or bed spreads and stuff like that. But yeah, I enjoy doing laundry. I enjoy seeing it get washed, folded and put away and very organized. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what type of laundry person are you? Do you enjoy watching people on YouTube do laundry? Do you enjoy this part of it? I was folding my undies and I realized I'm like, I'm all folding my undies all in the, just all in the camera, all rude. So that's why I started folding them over to the side. But yeah, that sock bag that I just poured my socks out of, guys, I have had that sock bag since I think it was 2017, 18. It is still going strong. It was a wool light set of bags that you use for sweaters and bras and different things like that and i still have that sock bag to this day so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up the video share the video and talk to me in the comments because i will talk back and i'll let you enjoy the little that there is I left all right my gators so that is it um my next load is gonna take a while and i'm I'm not gonna drag this out. Just want to share a little bit of what I do, and I randomly do these for you guys. If you like these, talk to me in the comments. If there's something I do that you enjoy, or something that you want to go me to go more in depth with on here, talk to me in the comments. I will talk back. And yeah, I'm about to take this off because these things get warm. Um, and probably put on one of my satin ones there. 
I don't know that they, they don't get me as hot as these terry cloth ones which does terry cloth so yeah I'm getting ready to um cut the lights out as you see I, I don't know it still looks white in the camera but I actually I actually um <clears throat> uh dimmed and made all of my lights soft so I got my book ready and my journal and all that good stuff sitting here I like to journal throughout the day um that helps me not be able to miss I just started this one on the 21st I ended my other journal um, I track what I'm eating, and I also have a, uh, this is what I'm currently into right now. It is so good, like, so good, like, when I read, I read, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all can see it, but when I'm reading, I read, read, like, underline, get into it. This is a really good book. I think I'm on chapter five. It's, like, only nine chapters, which is weird, but they're long, but they're long, so... I gotta go. My phone is on 15%. About to take these back into the laundry room. I love, love, love these. I got two. Look out for these. These are very sturdy. The handles don't fall off. And they save space. You can put them between your machine. You don't gotta worry about having these big bulky baskets everywhere. I'll probably do a video on these on their own. Showing you the brand and all that good stuff. So, talk to me in the comments. I'll talk back. And yeah, this is gonna be the rest of my relaxing Saturday. I probably won't get up to cook dinner until about... 4 30 um because i like to eat and be done eating no later than 6 6 30 so yeah all right later gators talk to you in the next video